Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial of our channel Technical Vocabulary where we learn meaning and definition of several technical words. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be talking about one of the key concepts of regression testing called as impact analysis. Now impact analysis can be called as a general terminology throughout the development process or development life cycle as well. But specifically, we are talking from a testing perspective that how exactly impact analysis can help you when it comes to maintenance testing, where we generally perform a lot of regression testing too. Assuming that there's a scenario where you're trying to enhance an existing piece of application, which is in a mature state, and adding some new code to the existing application, which is live with their users in the market. Now this update is not entirely done to the entire application, but to a particular functionality within one particular corner of the application. Now it's not necessary that this particular implementation, what you're doing for one of the functionality will actually impact the whole application. Now in turn, generally we perform or we have a question that do we perform 100% regression every time a small change takes place? Answer is no. The only way you can prevent it or reduce your effort on regression testing during maintenance of the product is by having impact analysis in place. The impact analysis is a study which can help you to determine what areas, what modules or what functionalities will be impacted with respect to this change what we are trying to make. And given this study will tell you that how exactly the modules will be adversely impacted or not impacted will be gathering the set of requirements, which in turn will help me to get all the necessary test cases, which we actually are supposed to run. So for an instance, if I have 1000 test cases written for a complete application, I don't really have to run all of them. Based on the impact analysis study, I could figure out that maybe only just 200 test cases would be enough to make sure that the change is not impacting the rest of the applications too. Right, Because a change never impacts entire application is what we need to understand. But in order to reduce your effort on the regression testing using impact analysis, there are a lot of other parameters which you need to take into account. Number one, you need to make sure that you have traceability between the requirements and the test cases. Because impact analysis will only tell you the requirements and the traceability will further help you to identify the set of test cases. On the other hand, if you talk about impact analysis, requirements must be up to date. If the requirements are poorly defined or requirements are not at all mentioned or documented, then impact analysis is still a trouble, right? There are a lot many other factors, including these two, which we can certainly deep dive and I can look forward to talk about this step by step. So that's all from this particular tutorial team where we just wanted to tell you how exactly impact analysis is very helpful in the world of development and testing put together. Should you have any other words with you, feel free to drop them below because I would love to talk about them and give you a great introduction to every single terminology. So that's all from this particular video team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.